Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic of discussion is on transport layer services. Now from this video lecture uh, onwards, I will be starting the topics on transport layer. In all my previous video sessions, I have been explaining about the network layer. So from today onwards, the topics will be on transport layer. So if you try to remember in the TCP IP protocol suit, you have the different layers, isn't it? Application layer, transport layer, network layer, physical layer and the uh, this will be the data link layer and the last one will be the physical layer. So, to just tell you in very simple words, the functionality in the network provided by each of these layers, like suppose if you look into this network scenario, there is a source host and there is a destination host, fine. Now, between the source and the destination, you have the different networks, isn't it? So, that is why we show with the routers. Now, from this particular source to the next one, we call it as node to the next node from here to this one from here to this. So, node to node. This node to node delivery is taken care by the data link layer. Data link layer takes care of what? The node to node delivery. Whereas, the now just uh, think about the end, end points here. We say this is one host here and this, this is the destination host. So, we can always tell that this is the host here. So, we call it as host to host delivery. Host to host delivery is taken care by what? The network layer. Host to host delivery is taken care by the network layer. Now come, so you are now familiar with the functionality at the data link layer in the network scenario, uh, data link layer in the network layer and ne next comes the tra transport layer. Now, to understand the transport layer in actually we we call it in very simpler words as end to end delivery it provides end to end delivery now what do you mean by end to end delivery in the network scenario look here this is one host this is an, the destination host in each of these there are what different processes that are running and these processes are running at the application layer isn't it so here also you have the application layer at the destination and here you have number of processes now from one process, actually we say that this particular process which is getting communicated with another process of the destination host. So, there is end to end communication. This end to end communication is called as, is provided by the transport layer, end to end delivery. And each of these processes are identified by the port number. Hence, we can also call it as port to port delivery. So, just in very simpler words, you can tell that data link layer is what node to node delivery takes care of node to node delivery, whereas network layer takes care of what the host to host delivery and the end to end delivery or the port to port delivery is taken care by the transport layer. So, this with this introduction, I shall start explaining you about the different concepts that are there with respect to the transport layer and also the different services provided by the transport layer. As I said, for every process, there is what every process is identified by a port number. Now, this port number is selected from which range? We call it from this range. We call it as ICANN range. And this ICANN stands for, stands for Internet Corporation for Assigned Numbers and Names. So, this corporation, this particular authority has got 65,536 port numbers. And out of all these port numbers, this complete list of port numbers can be further divided into three parts. The first range are called as the well-known port number. It starts from 0 and the last port number in this range is 1023. Registered port number starts from 1024 and ends at 49,151. Whereas the private port number starts from 49,152 and ends at 65,535. First, at this uh, point, you just remember that these are the different port numbers. Now, why we require port number? Port number always identifies the process at the application layer. So, here that is what I have shown this one particular diagram here. See, normally one more thing I have written here. This particular complete thing is happening at the server side. So, if my source is one host, my destination is the server. The transport layer, what? It functions for which paradigm? the client server paradigm. So, this host becomes the client and this particular destination becomes what? The server. So, there is a logical connection that is getting established between the client and the server at the transport layer. Now, what is that you need to know is at the client, fine, at the client there are, there are certain processes that are getting, these processes has to get communicated or 
the client at, at the client wants to send a message to the server so the the client collects the message collects the message from the process that is actually running at the application layer and it sends that message to the server now that process from which it is collecting the message the process is getting is having a port number so all the processes that are there at the client side okay we call it as ephemeral port numbers the meaning of ephemeral is short lived okay whereas all the processes that are running at the server side in the application layer are called as the well known port numbers and since well known port numbers are given to the processes that are there at the server side these processes are what these are the services provided to the client request and these are managed by icann only for each of the service there is one port number so that particular port number you cannot use it towards for the client process so that's why we have a very small range here for the specific services if when you come when you start knowing about the different services or the protocols that are there in the application layer you will come to know what are the port numbers that are assigned for each of the application process so like you can see okay for dns this is the port number for ftp so and so port number is used likewise there is a long list of port numbers but definitely it will be what within this range only 0 to 123 so these are fixed here for that service that port number is fixed but at the client side whatever processes are running those are very temporary processes isn't it so that processes will have what the port numbers from this range 49151 to 65535 this can be used by the clients these are called as the private or the dynamic port numbers whereas if you want to use port numbers between 1024 to 49151 those are called as the registered port numbers first it has to get registered if you have to make use of this port numbers so now with this introduction you just see this diagram the port number is the port number is what it is identifying the process isn't it process is at what at the application layer and where all these layers i am just trying to tell you that these these things you just assume at the server side that's why i can write it as destination ip address okay if it is server side i can use the word destination ip address destination port number fine what is that the message or the request has come from the client to the server and at the server side at the destination side if you see these three layers what is that at the, the to identify the process you require what the port number and it is a well known port number here and to identify the server that means now the server is like one host here to identify that host you require the destination ip address so basically now to summarize i can give you one analogy here in order to make you understand what this port numbers and destination see this is the source host and this is the destination host fine now ip address will identify what it will identify the host that is the destination host but at this destination are what different processes that are running at the application layer to identify the port number to identify a particular process you require what port number fine right? you require port number now what is that that means now you have to agree that these two are very much essential in order to reach to a particular process at the destination host what is that the combination of ip address and port number will make a unique connection will identify a unique process at the destination similarly if ip address that is the destination ip address and the destination port number is identifying a process at the destination side what about at the source side you require what source ip address and source port number isn't it so whenever any message that comes from the destination host then you require what the source ip address and the source port number whenever a message that goes from the sender towards the receiver side it takes the destination ip address and the port number finally what is that this pair this pair source port address port number destination uh, destination port uh, ip address and destination port number source ip address and source port number these four elements are very much required in order to have a uh, connection between the what two different processes or we can say in order to have an end to end communication so end to end communication is possible only with this four addresses now when you combine this ip address with port number ip address and port number fine this combination is called as the socket address what it is called it is called as socket address you can write down any example for ip 
okay port number i'll write 13 so this combination is called as the socket address this is what i wanted to tell you here i have written few points also so that i should not miss conveying to you socket address then addressing system is there in transport layer also as addressing system is there in the network layer similar way addressing system is there in the transport layer so this combination the address at the transport layer and the address at the network layer both are required in order to identify a, what a unique process at the destination host or at the uh, source host so in simpler words you can tell that this transport layer is acting like an envelope you are writing one letter and you will place the letter in the envelope isn't it inside the letter is what inside this envelope is what the data fine and in that letter you have written completely to whom it has to be addressed from and to address so now this transport layer is acting like what as an envelope to that letter so this is what i wanted to tell you inside this envelope is what the data part that is you can say inside to this envelope is the network layer functioning and outside to that is the envelope part is the transport layer functioning. Now one more simple analogy I will give you because we wanted to identify the different processes. Now these are the different processes at the uh, uh, sender side and these are the different processes at the receiver side. Now if a particular message is or you can say at the trans, uh, network layer we are using the word as datagram the transport layer in general will use the word as a packet when a packet travels towards the to to the destination host destination host has got what destination host has got different processes that are getting executed these are the different processes that are running at the application to identify each process isn't it so it is not that just only one process sometimes the transport layer has to what send message at a time to all the different processes that are there so this process will uh, the port number will identify a particular process in simpler analogy you can tell that this there is one uh, house okay house and in that house there are five members fine so, in a, if the letter comes to this particular house, this house address is there definitely on that letter, house address is there. But this address once again should have what to which member in the house this particular address has to be handed over, this letter has to be handed over. So, that out of these five, that means these are the five different processes at the application layer. And what it is done is it is trying to identify yes, this letter is what this letter is to one of these five members only. So, this particular house becomes what like a host, okay, the letter has come to the house, means the packet has come to the destination, but at the destination it wants to identify what to which process. So, that means when the letter reaches the house, it wants to identify to which particular person that letter is the intended, isn't it? So, that is how I just wanted to give you the uh, analogy here for the transport layer. So, you now you people are quite aware with addressing mechanism, addressing that is the port numbers that are used, ICANN, socket address. Now, the remaining uh, part of this particular uh, topic that is the transport layer services, I shall continue now in the next cell. Thank you.